What is this guy again? They call him a cleaner. He makes problems go away. <laughs> doing here we're getting vasectomies <laughs> why i'm doing it for you do we own bermuda no it belongs to the british lucky krauts uh, look I i'm sorry to bother you but but i'm a u.s postal worker and my mail truck was just ambushed by a band of backwoods mail hating survivalists <laughs> hello jerry may i come in what do you want huh Nothing. You're shipping us a rickshaw. I can't miss. Yes, it can. <laughs> we'll start out with one, and then when it catches on, we're going to have a whole fleet. It's the romance of the handsome cab without the guilt or dander of the equine. Something happened that changed us in a very deep and profound way from that day forward. Who was it? He spit on us. <laughs> and I screamed out, I'm it! <laughs> Then I turned, and the spit ricocheted off him, and it hit me. You see, my dear, all certified mail is registered. But registered mail is not necessarily certified. <laughs> Listen to you talk about mail all day. Anything you wish. I'll tell you a little secret about zip codes. They're meaningless. <laughs> What took you so long? Hey, what do you think they'll do to us? Nah, don't worry about a thing. In 20 minutes, that place will be swarming with mailmen. <laughs> we'll be back on the street by lunch. I see many dogs on my mail route. I'll bet there's not one type of mutt or mongrel I haven't run across. If you ask me, they have no business living amongst us. Vile, useless... Now nah, that's true. Of course, nobody needs mail. Well, you, what, you think you're so clever figuring that one out? But you don't know the half of what goes on here. So just walk away, Kramer. <laughs> I beg of you. Oh, how I've waited for this moment. But alas, my heart belongs to another man's wife, and I have given the coat to her. All right, we're done here. For I am in love with Svetlana, and I don't care if the whole world knows, except for Silvio, who would throw me out of the apartment where I would be dancing Thank on the you. sidewalk. Thank you. Yeah, well, you're going to have to cancel it because I've told everybody about my party. Cancel? Think again, Longshanks. I started planning this in 1978. I put a deposit down on that revolving restaurant that overlooks Times Square. And I booked Christopher Cross. I had uh, gone up to Westchester. I uh, go there every Tuesday. I do charity work with the blind in my spare time. Jerry. 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 We find the defendants guilty. Kramer. Butter. Kramer. Hey, buddy. Find your pace, boy. Chop, chop. Well, I've hit the wall. I gotta take a break. Well, don't tarry. I'm behind schedule as it is. Oh, boy. Boy! I may have a solution to our little problem. Elaine, would you excuse us? Oh, come on, Newman. I have a private matter to discuss with my fellow tenants, if you don't mind. Jerry. Look, sister, go get yourself a cup of coffee, all right? <laughs> but you must promise that you will abide by my decision, no matter how unjust it may seem to either of you. Do I have your word? Uh, yeah. yeah. All right. Let's begin. Ooh, my cocoa! Anyway, I don't need your help. Oh, don't you? 
joke boy? You really think you can manipulate that beautiful young woman like the half-soused nightclub rabble that lap up your inane observations? The thing about fleas is that they irritate the skin and they start to itch. Oh, maybe you can hold out five seconds or ten. Maybe 15 or 20. But after a while, <clears throat> no matter how much willpower a person may have, it won't matter. Because they're crawling, crawling on your skin, up your legs, up your spine, up your back. Well, what do you think the hobos are doing? I don't know. They're deranged. This guy is nothing but a piece of crap. You are nothing but a piece of crap. A piece of crap. A piece of crap. I find you extremely ugly. I find you extremely ugly. Do you? You admit a foul and unpleasant odor. You admit a foul and unpleasant odor. Oh, is that right? I loathe you. I loathe you. That's it. Get out of my store. Make us. Make us. Make us. Make us. I'll make you. Wait a minute. Wait, wait. Then let me ask you this. Don't you find it interesting that your friend had the foresight to purchase postal insurance for your stereo? Huh? I mean, parcels are rarely damaged during shipping. Define rarely. Frequently. <laughs> are we about through here, Newman? It's pretty hot under these lights, huh, Seinfeld? <laughs> pretty hot. Actually, I'm quite comfortable. I have a sip. No. <laughs> Not gonna play ball, huh? What is that, Hickam? Yeah. It's the wood that makes it good. Really? Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, stop it. Get crazy about I'm with people. Yeah, yeah, and thanks for inviting me. I did invite you. Your invitation must have gotten lost in the mail. <laughs> I'll never get to Hawaii. I'll be stuck in this apartment building forever. The dream is dead. You're giving up that easy? I usually do. We used to go out. <laughs> Toodaloo. <laughs> and nice seeing you again, Margaret. Bye, Jerry. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> and then, then, and just as I'm about to go, these boxes show up at the post office with no labels. No labels, Jerry. You know what that means? Freebies! <laughs> Jamalaya. <laughs> You're supposed to deliver my calzones. We had a deal. I believe the deal was that I get your calzones on my route. Well, today I won't be going on my route, will I? Perhaps tomorrow. But I'm paying you. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Sometimes I ponder this silly gulf between us, and I say, why? Are we really so different? For what is I'm not the one doing the cooking, Newman. Damn you, Seinfeld. <laughs> you useless pustule. Hey, I can't find his photos anywhere. Oh, you know what happened? Some guy from the post office confiscated him. He left his card. Newman? <laughs> my shampoo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it is panty. I got a free sample of it in with my junk mail. Well, there really is no junk mail. Oh, everybody wants to get a check or a birthday card, but it requires just as much manpower to deliver as their, their, their precious little greeting cards to Newman! No! All right, let's do it. Excellent. Excellent. You going to the Super Bowl? Yes, I am. A guy in my mail room just got a couple of tickets, and he offered one to me. What's his name? Tim Watley. That's my ticket. Is it? Oh, well, if only you'd known, you could have saved some time and given it directly to me. <laughs> OK, what hey, is it? Here. Take a look at this card. Tell me if you notice anything unusual about it. Yeah, your nipple's showing. Oh. OK. 
Okay, thanks. Anything else? No. All right, see you later. <laughs> it's called mail fraud. Ooh, how I've longed for this moment, Seinfeld. The day when I would have the proof I needed to haul you out of your cushy lair and expose you to the light of justice as the monster that you are. A monster so vile. Human! <laughs> There'll uh, be a small fine. Does your girlfriend have to be here? Does yours? <laughs> and then, on the afternoon of September 10th, you received a phone call, did you not? Phone call? <laughs> yes, a phone call! From who? <laughs> from me! From you? Yes, from me! From me, I called you, remember? You called me? Yes, I called you, you idiot! Because you were going to... You were going to... What? Remember? You're gonna, you were gonna, you were gonna, you were gonna, you were gonna do something! You're gonna do it! To yourself? You're gonna do something yourself? Remember the banking? The banking wasn't working out the banking! I didn't get the transfer. They knew it wasn't me doing my route. How did they know? Too many people got their mail! <laughs> Close to 80%. Nobody from the post office has ever cracked the 50% barrier. It's like the three-minute mile. I tried my best. Exactly. You're a disgrace to the uniform. <laughs> you know, this is your coat. Damn! I love broccoli. It's good for you. Really? Then maybe you'd like to have a piece. Gladly. <laughs> Vile weed! All right. All right. All right, you go ahead. You go ahead, you keep it secret. But you remember this. When you control the mail, you control information. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but hear me and hear me well. The day will come. Oh, yes. Mark my words, Seinfeld. Your day of reckoning is coming when an evil wind will blow through your little play world and wipe that smug smile off your face. And I'll be there in all my glory, watching, watching as it all comes crumbling down. Let me ask you something. What, what do you do for a living, Newman? I'm a United States postal worker. <laughs> Aren't those the guys that always go crazy and come back with a gun and shoot everybody? Sometimes. <laughs> Why is that? Because the mail never stops. It just keeps coming and coming and coming. There's never a let up. It's relentless. Every day it piles up more and more and more, and you've got to get it up. And the more you get out, the more it keeps coming in. And then the barcode reader breaks, and it's published his clearinghouse. All right, all right, all right. Just take the records. They're in the bedroom. Take them. Take anything you want. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm.